Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. So I just came back from a few days shooting video in the north of Israel with my new Femi Pam 2. And I thought I'd put together this little montage of clips uh, just to show some various features about the camera gimbal. I hope this is representative of its uh, capabilities roughly. Okay, so first shot here is a video of a subject here walking down. So I was just holding the Femi and tracking the subject here. And just to show the stability in that kind of setup, you can see my silhouette there in the sun. Uh, this is the same clip, except it's slowed down a little bit to 70%. I've just done a little bit of uh, color grading as well on that clip. So a few clips here of uh, what the stabilization looks like in a in little bit less challenging environments, just doing some kind of panning shots across a piece of scenery. So these are all taken again in the in the north of Israel. This is a castle just, out, just on the Lebanese border. I'm very impressed with the daytime performance of this camera. The colors I think are lovely. There's no post-production here on this. It's just as it came out of the camera. Uh, some more views just across scenery here in the north of Israel. Now, I'll, say, I'll just say this later, but I'll make this comment now. The nighttime performance is drastically worse. The low light performance gets really bad at a certain point, or that's what I've encountered so far. But, but we'll get to that later. Here is what it looks like just walking, holding the camera in my hands as I'm walking up uh, towards this mountain here. It looks fairly decent, but you can see the up-down motion of my walking movement. Um, now here's where I, the first time I put this thing up on a, it's the Ulanzi MT34, which is a telescoping tripod. So it's up a meter or so in the air now. And I'm just doing a little bit of uh, panning maneuvers here just to show what that looks like. Um, and yeah, I think it looks fairly okay. Obviously there's a bit of motion blur when you move too quickly on this. I'm not using, there are lens filters, uh, like UV filters. I'm not using any of them. So you got the kind of sun ray. Here is uh, what the selfie mode looks like, just holding the Femi at a normal distance. So I'm just holding it with my hand here and speaking to the camera. And now here's another clip of me using the Ulanzi MT34. So I'm getting it out there now, and now it's at extension. So that's about a meter in front of me, and I'm doing the same voice to camera stuff. Now I'm gonna do a uh, audio test later, and I'll stop speaking when I do that. Camera on monopod. Okay, so here's the Ulanzi MT34. I've got it now at 90 degrees into the quarter inch. Now you can get a GoPro attachment uh, that'll make this easier, but this is just using this. So this is kind of tracking along the ground and what it looks like. I think it looks fairly decent. Some more panning across this sort of rocky territory on the top of a mountain, essentially. Um, here is me going up some uh, pathway and you can see there is a coil of barbed wire and some grass. So you can see kind of pick up from uh, fields different distances here. And we're gonna get now to the uh, a view from the top of this uh, this castle here. And you can see again how it looks in terms of just panning. Gonna do a bit of panning here across this landscape and then turning north um, and you're gonna see that as well. Okay, I'm just gonna start speaking about the next clip as I can see it coming up on the timeline. I'm going to show just throwing a bit of indoor lighting uh, while I am just kind of checking out this castle place. Uh, so it's shooting indoors with artificial light from an LED panel. So I have my panel here and you can see it throwing some light about this place, not particularly strong, but just to show kind of what that combo looks like of the Femi Pam 2 with a camera light. I'm using this in kind of a uh, L bracket configuration. Um, and I was actually also just holding it in my hand. So holding the Femi in my right hand and the camera light in my left hand and seeing how those two performed uh, together. So you can see the light now throwing itself down onto the ground. Here's a very, very, very small jump with the camera. There you go. So just to see what that looks like, I thought would be interesting too. Okay, a bit of footage from uh, out of car window. So I think I had the window rolled down here. Um, and so you can just see what it looks like when you're holding the Femi and uh, trying to capture some scenery or something like that passing by. Looks relatively decent. As I said, a bit of motion blur sometimes with this. Shooting in fading light conditions. Okay, this is when I was shooting some birds in this wildlife reserve. Um, I thought these clips turned out pretty nicely. No post-production done here, no color correction, no lighting adjustment, just how it came out of the camera again. Um, and you can see the stabilization is really nice and you can kind of be a bit artistic and move across the sky and follow the birds. This panning's a little bit too quick. Um, but yeah, that is, and you can see those colors are beautiful. Um, the fade, the sun, it was just about after sundown and you can see the sun is catching off those clouds and the birds are slightly uh, towards the front of the frame and you can see the hills in the background. So again, for 180 bucks, I think this is a great camera. Selfie mode voice to camera in low lighting conditions. So here's me doing another uh, voice to camera. 
Um, I'm just holding it, I think. No, I had it on my selfie stick, but it's uh, it was almost nice at this point. Okay, at a Thanksgiving dinner, um, tracking a dog. Now you can see as uh, gets the lighting kind of gets lower in these clips, the performance is starting to fade a bit. As the dog moves into the, the this better lit room, it starts to look a little bit better. And I'm gonna just follow him now, jumping up a uh, staircase. So that's it, kind of try. I haven't done act. I haven't done any sort of mounted action cam shots. Less. Here is some close range footage. So I just had the Femi right down next to a rock uh, with some water flowing against it in a river, and then I just waded out into the river a little bit and did some shots at various ranges, which is why I thought this clip would be interesting. So. Here's a kind of wide shot of the river. This is the, uh, the Hasbani River, also known as the Upper Jordan River. So you can see the greens again, no post-processing, no color correction here, uh, just as it came out of the SD card. Really nice green tones being, being picked up from the foliage and then just uh, panning down and getting some sort of close shots of my feet and the water here. Uh, panning across food at a dinner table. We got lunch at some point and uh, as you can see I'm just bringing the camera across the table You can see the wine glasses. You can see the food and then uh, just a bit of footage of, uh, pa of a palm tree Okay, that's it. I'm gonna stop speaking now So it's pretty dark and it's pretty damp in the main room that you come off to just after you go into uh, the main part of the castle and judging by the stuff around here tiny bit of graffiti a couple of cans of red bull stuff like that but it's definitely not as visited as other castles i think this is one of the lesser known castles so it's pretty dark and it's pretty damp in the main room that you come off to just after you go into uh, the main part of the castle and judging by the stuff around here Just going to record now one more amazing view out from the castle in uh, just outside Mar Galliot. And this, from this vantage point, you can actually see into both Lebanon and Syria. Just going to record now one more amazing view out from the castle in uh, just outside Mar Galliot. And this, from this vantage point, you can actually see into both Lebanon and Syria. So uh, today's excitement, I'm just here outside Kibbutz Mar Galiot in the north of Israel. My wife and I are on a uh, staycation trip here. So uh, today's excitement, I'm just here outside Kibbutz Mar Galiot in the north of Israel. My wife and I are on a uh, staycation trip here. So all the videos I've shot on, uh, on this clip and the other clips I've done on this trip to the north have been done using the Femi Pam 2 alongside the Ulanzi MT34. Currently on uh, Mount Termon here. It's actually my first time I've ever been here. And we're going to take the uh, cable car going up to the peak. 